We told you about tenants at an apartment complex in Hoover who are fed up with the property management there. The issue is that most are either freezing in their apartments or other problems they say are not being addressed. And under Alabama law, tenants don't have much of a leg to stand on. And our James Giles live tonight after speaking with a state lawmaker on whether or not that could all change, James. Yeah, Brittany, Steve, one state lawmaker says more should be done, but it's not likely anything will happen anytime soon. Your best bet, move and get an attorney. If everybody's having the same issue. Then In Hoover, for Cadence and Bluff Park residents like Andrika Willis, it's one thing after the other. We should be able to have proper maintenance issues handled and we should have proper livable apartments. Several are reaching out to Fox 6 with apartment issues. Everything from weeks with no heat or air to leaks leading to mold. So this is water dripping from the ceiling, as you can see. And seemingly no help in sight. And I'm paying you all money. These things should be handled. But they say it's crickets from their property management. State Representative sure, Wanda Lynn Gavan sure. says she agrees more should be done at the state level to help tenants who find themselves in these types of situations. But due to different barriers, how long before that help gets here is up in the air. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't think that you would ever see again uh, there being uh, something in law that says you've got to give heat. You've got to fix it. You've got to change the carpet. You, you must under the law do this or that by way of even painting the inside. Tenant advocacy groups say Alabama law leans in favor of landlords and tenants don't have very many rights, citing there's no law requiring a landlord to make repairs. But you will see something that says or something close to making a home, excuse me, a residence or property habitable. I just don't understand why we're not getting any justice here. Gavan's advice, find an attorney, or find somewhere else to live. At the end of the day, if you're still living there, regardless of what that landlord has not done or that lessor of that property, that landlord still is owed a duty and he is owed those monthly rents and payments. It took me a while to find this place and, and it sucks. So we can up and move and then be in the same predicament. And you can find out more information about what rights tenants have as well as legal help in this story in the WBRC Fox 6 News app. Reporting live in Jefferson County, I'm James Giles for WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.